Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be making these Christmas trees. Now they look amazing in one color, but when you see them in multicolor, especially this one, this one's actually three colors. It's purple, blue, and black. It's just amazing. I have a link for it if you uh, want to see which uh, where it is in uh, the Amazon uh, store. There's a link in the description. So let's get started. We're gonna start off with a pyramid. Let's go ahead and click on that, drag it over here, and let's zoom in so we can get a better view. We're gonna change the height to 15. And then we're gonna get another pyramid right there. We're gonna rotate, actually let's rotate this one, 180 straight down, there it is. And this one, we're gonna change the height to 38. So 38, enter. We're going to move this one up 15, is it? Yeah, because this one's 15, so this is going to go up 15. So let's do that and then type in 15. I'm going to select both of these and then click the letter L to align here and there. All right, now I'm going to group these two, Control G, and change the color right there. We're going to rotate this 45 degrees. 22.5 and now 45. Okay. Then we're going to rotate it in this direction, 22, which you can only do if you type it or let me zoom out a little bit. If you go within the circle, it turns into 22.5, like it says up here. So that's done. So now we're going to duplicate this control D. And then the letter M to mirror it, that's the arrow we want right there. I'm not sure you can see it, but there it is, right there. Now I'm gonna use the shift and the arrow key on the keyboard to move it over. And then I'm gonna try to get these two to touch. Let's see if I can get that. All right, too much. So now I'm gonna go to the snap grid settings, the snap grid, and I'll put it on off. And then I'm gonna zoom in, use the arrow keys to get it as close as I can without them touching, whoa, too far. That's close enough. You might see some space. Just try to get as close as possible. That's my best, I don't know, idea or suggestion because it's not gonna be perfect. I tried it one time and I couldn't get it to be perfect. So I'm gonna group these two or I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna duplicate with Control D. I'm gonna rotate them 90. Then I'm gonna select all of them again, Control D. This time I'm gonna rotate them 22.5. That was wrong. Let me rotate them another 22.5, which makes it 45. So that second one should have rotated uh, 45 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna group these, Control G. Now for this next part, pay attention. This is the part where it'll be super easy if you get it right, but super hard if you don't. Okay, so now it's one piece, okay? I'm gonna control D, now mind you, pay attention where I click, okay? Control D, I'm gonna hit shift and I'm going to shimmy this, right? Just make it go up and down, that way it knows, hey, I want them to be all the same ratio. And I'm gonna change this one to 58.2. Still, I haven't clicked on anything. I'm gonna rotate this 22.5, there it is. Now I'm gonna make this go down 19, negative 19, so here it is, negative 19, enter. Okay, I still haven't clicked on anything. This is still selected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna click Control D to duplicate and then again, duplicate and again, it should be six of these one, two, three, four, five. One more time then, six. Okay, we're almost done here. Now, I'm gonna select all of these and then group. Okay, now it's tr it's turning red, it's processing. Don't forget to subscribe and like while we're waiting for this. Okay, there it is. I have it selected, so I'm gonna click the letter D so it can go to the top. I'm gonna get rid of the bottom. If you print it like this, it's gonna look kind of weird, almost like a weapon. Don't want that. So I'm gonna click down here. 
I'm going to extend this so that it's bigger than the uh, tree or wider at least. Now, what you want to do is make this height go to that area right there, that intersection. So I'm going to raise that up. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, mine isn't. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group, control G. There it is. It's processing. There you go. And then I click the letter D for uh, so that it can go down. Now the star. There's two issues with the star. First, when you first down or uh, drop it into the work plane, you notice that it's not necessarily symmetrical if you go this way. So we're going to rotate this thing. I believe it's 18 degrees. Let me see if that's correct. 18. Now, now it's symmetrical. Of course, now you want to duplicate it, rotate it 180 degrees, and then we're going to drop it down. Actually, what's the height? Yeah, we're going to drop it down by clicking that little black cylinder, not a cone. We're going to go negative 10. There. If you look underneath, there it is. I'm going to group these two. And then I'm going to change the color to white. Now, when you place this thing, it's very important that you uh, pay attention to where it's placed. Because if you do it incorrectly, you're going to have... You're going to need supports if you do it incorrectly. If you do it correctly, no supports, and it looks so much cleaner, so much better. All right, so it's at an okay height right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both the tree and the star, click the letter L, and then I'm going to center them to each other. Okay, obviously it doesn't look good, and that's okay. So now I'm going to raise this up, but here's what I want you to pay attention. This part of the star should not be in the air like this. That should not happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it enough so that it's barely sticking out. And there we go. That was a fast, easy tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you don't need any supports for these, but I do need your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I appreciate everything you have done. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Goodbye.